put on high to celebrate what he did for us. When we partake of it, we show our deep gratitude for Christ's work on our behalf and our faith is strengthened. Isaiah 52, 14 says, just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any human being and his form was marred beyond any human likeness. He did chin-ups on a cross to breathe for us. Is in heaven now with a footstool. Happy that we've come to him. Suffering reached its thanks, man. Suffering reached its height when Jesus said from the cross, it is finished. Those words mean paid in full. They mean when you accept Jesus Christ as your Saviour, you will go to heaven when you die, and you will live in a glorious earth made new with sin or suffering without it. Allow any troubles you have to drive you closer to the Lord. I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. This is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions and in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You will be kept in perfect peace, those who keep their mind on thee. Isaiah 26, 3. Knowing that Christ had suffered pain and faced temptation helps us face our trials. Jesus understands, understands our struggles because he faced them as a human being. We can trust Christ to help us survive suffering and overcome temptation. Don't let suffering that you face discourage you so much that you think you have displeased God in some way. Rather see suffering as an opportunity to share in Christ's suffering just as we also share in his inheritance as true children of our Heavenly Father. Now if you can take the wafer, the, the bread, body of Christ. It's on the table. <laughs> For I have received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Now let's eat. In the same way, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Now for the tithe, if the ushers could get the buckets and collect the um, donations. 